Hello, welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're looking at a brand new stamp set which is going to be available in the annual catalogue which comes out on May the 4th. And we're looking at the elegantly said stamp set and the coordinating elegant tag punch which you'll be able to get together as a bundle and save 10%. So we're mainly looking at the punch, but we're going to use a sentiment from here because I really love the fonts on them. And this particular one, life has changed for you, but my support and love never will, is really lovely. So we're going to start with three of the in colours as well. So we're going to use fresh freesia, polished pink and pale papaya because they blend perfectly together and I'll show you how they actually work when all the colours are, as I say, blended through together. So what we need is we need our punch and we need a scrap piece of paper. Um, I'm just using some of the um, grid paper, anything that's fairly thin because you don't want... Um, you don't want it to um, be too thick as a mask. This works perfectly. If you're worried, you can do it on some cardstock, but that's all we're going to do. So we're going to create a mask, and then we've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and we're going to take our colours, and we're going to use a blending brush. So I have got... Um, let me just take the colour off of there because I've been having a little practice. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our palest colour which is the pale papaya and I'm just going to put the mask and again it really doesn't matter where you're putting it. Um, you can put it in a straight line, you can put it in a um, at an angle, um, as I say it really doesn't matter and then all we're going to do is we're going to sponge through the mask because the thing I really love about this punch is the, squir the swirl on the top I think it's really pretty so I'm just going to start with a few and when I say a few it doesn't really matter because we're going to build this up as we go so all I'm doing is I'm just doing a mask through on this. Um, so I've got two to start off with. I'm going to keep the ink pads open and then I'm going to take the fresh freesia and we are going to, and we can overlap some of them. I'm just going to take, and what I would do is to have a little scrap and just sort of clean your brush off a bit in between. It doesn't really matter that it um, could potentially have some of the other colour on it because if you brush it, it will, you can see it comes off quite easily. So we're just going to take this all the way down and I'm doing for this one just sort of downward strokes rather than going round and round because this little part is quite delicate. And then we're going to put another one up on here. So at the moment we're doing it all coming down in one direction. And we're literally just building up those colours. So we've got two in that colour. And again I'm putting it off because we're going to be bringing it back in again. So I'm not going to close them as yet. And then we've got the... Um, polished pink and I'm going to put this one just sort of half in and half off on here and bring this down and you can see how when you overlap them the colours that come through are absolutely beautiful so as I say I'm doing this quite quickly because again you don't have to do it um, extra um, 
you don't have to spend a huge amount of time on it because it's literally just building up these lovely color tones with this so we've got that on there now I'm going to turn it completely round in the opposite direction and I'm going to take this so that it comes in where there's some sort of squirrely spaces and you can see when it goes over the purple you get a different color so we're just getting all these beautiful shades of color coming through and I think I'm going to have another one up in on here I want to take it so that it just comes in the top so that's going to come through on the top there just bring it down and you can bring it down as whoops as lightly as you want or as dark so I'm just going to take this fairly lightly over the bottom and bring that out um, now I'm going to go back through to the pale papaya and clean my brush off again a bit so we're doing it in this direction and I'm going to take one just sort of up on here the idea is that when we've finished we will have covered the whole of whoops doing it a bit fast for my own good we'll have covered the whole of the um, um, the the paper with it so I've got a nice little sort of piece in the center but I think I'm going to turn it round so I've done some in that direction I'm going to do one in this direction so you can have it running across in whatever directions you want so I'm just doing this lightly over there but you can see you've got that little mask piece coming through let's take some of the fresh freesia and I'm going to stick this one in on here so I can bring that through and again you can do it as dark or as light as you want sometimes if you do it not too dark you're going to get um, just a different sort of tone coming through um, so take that through on there so we've got that one um, I'm going to take let's take we want a piece to come through on here so I'm going to take it that way and I'm going to do this one in the pale papaya just bring that across on there so we've got that and we've got that piece coming in that direction and then shall we have one coming through on here so I can have this I'm going to take this at a bit of an angle I think because I want to have um, and I'm going to do this in the polished pink but I don't want it too dark down at the bottom so just blend that through a bit so we've got one coming through at that sort of angle and then I'm just going to take a piece up on here and what color should we do that one in let's do that in the um, fresh freesia on here just going to have a little bit over on here and take that in so we've almost got all of it covered through now if we want some more of these lovely sort of little swirly pieces in what we can do is we can take this um, I've still got a little piece up on here haven't I so I just want to take this in on let's do it up to there and I'm going to do that in the polished pink because I quite like that round the edges and then just take this piece in on here and then if you want to just add a few more little pieces in to give a few more little scrolls you can take so let's just take a piece up on here with this one and all I'm doing this time is I'm just taking it down past where the scroll is 
and taking it off. So you've just got that poking through. And I think I'm going to have another one just in the centre here. And do this a little bit lighter. So we can take that one out. So you've got that one coming through. And I just need this little edge piece here. So I'm just going to literally just take what's on my brush just over on those pieces so that we haven't got any white bits showing. Um, a little tiny white bit up on here, haven't I? So again, just use what you've got left on your brush to just take those little bits if you want. So what you've got here is a, just a really lovely pattern, but these three colours together you can see you've got all of the different sort of shades and tones. So if we're going to be doing sort of sunrises and sunsets and things like that, you know, gorgeous colours up in here. They work beautifully. And then all we need to do is to take a sentiment and I've chosen the... What did I say it was? It was a lovely sentiment. We'll see it when we stamped it out. And all I'm doing is I'm just going to stamp that straight in there. So it's a simple one leg card. Great for doing post and stuff like that because it's not going to go everywhere. Do it in black. Life has changed for you, but my love and support never will, which I absolutely love. And then if we take, and I will show you on a couple. So this is a piece of the Fresh Freesia. So if you then just mount it on there, You've just got these most beautiful colours that are coming up through. I think that's really lovely. And I did one earlier on and um, I've got this one. So this one I've got a little bit more of the, um, the purples and the... Um, so the fresh freesia and the pale papaya. I've got some more of that on this on that one. And we've got one more piece of cardstock which we can do it against, which is I'll just get it out because I've got another one cut. So this is the take it on this because I haven't used it completely, so I've been cutting pieces out of it. So if we take this one off, we can put this on with which I think might work better. Look at that. You see, and that's with the uh, fresh freezer as the background. So you've got, as I say, you can change it to whatever colour you want. This has got quite a lot of the pink in it. So as I say, you can put it on with there and you get a very different look coming through. Put it on with the purple, which I probably like the purple or the, the fresh freezer and the polished pink better but it makes a really simple easy card to achieve and you're using the punch just as a mask um, you could in fact then if you wanted to to actually cut um, the actual mask shape and put that in to give more layers and to t step it up a bit but it just gives you some pretty ideas so thank you so much for watching as always please stay safe and well and please be kind look forward to seeing you soon bye bye